John Kenyon. I'm a nonprofit technology educator and strategist. I've been working with nonprofits for over 20 years. I am an adjunct professor at the University of San Francisco, uh, where I teach in their master's program. I've worked both inside and as a consultant to nonprofits. And um, before that, I actually worked for a large, um, one of the larger oil and gas companies and I was in charge of the database that held all of their toxic spills and chemical releases and that helped drive me into the nonprofit sector to try and help preserve some of the things that were being harmed by companies like that. I have limited resources, I have limited hours that I can volunteer, that I can help nonprofits, um, but that hopefully through my work of educating and supporting them I can help um, really amplify the work that they do and, and uh, provide service to the community that way. Technology issues are um, getting a handle in, on and doing good planning, uh, studying up on mobile and the impact that mobile's having um, on nonprofit operations and communications, and the concept that folks are starting to talk about around big data, around not only looking at how many people your nonprofit are serving, but are you kind of what, the, as they say, moving the needle on the social change? Um, you know, are are, are people um, needing less mental health services because they're getting the care that they need? Um, and is that really making a change in society? And so that takes looking at data from across a variety of organizations and really being able to get good data and understand it. My tips would be, one, to really make sure that you're engaging in a good technology planning process so that what you do with technology is directly aligned with your mission. Uh, that you're not just trying new technology. It's good to explore new technology, but not just grabbing it because it's new and saying, oh, let's do something with this. Starting with what are we trying to do as an organization uh, and then looking at how can technology support that. See uh, a lot of organizations dealing with is you'll, help, you'll have the responsibility for doing technology planning only on one person. And technology planning especially is a team activity. Um, the organizations, even the smallest organizations I've seen really do well with technology planning, have a team that often includes a board member, a constituent, as well as staff. Uh, and that way you get those different perspectives. And also not always just having the tech savvy people on the team, but people who may not be as comfortable with technology because you need to have that balanced perspective.